Welcome to In Conversation with Manwar Khan podcast. This podcast is brought to you by the Do Not Be a Bystander campaign. You can join us in raising awareness about bullying by visiting the do not be a bystander.com and be sure to subscribe to the channel to stay informed about upcoming episodes. Today's participants are Shanza, Afsa, and Faiza. Our special guest for today's episode is Samia Khan. Welcome to our Bullying Awareness Podcast. I'm your host, Manwar Khan. Today, I'm joined by three young individuals who are ready to share their thoughts and insights on the topic of empowerment. They all have the same goal, eliminating bullying in schools and communities. These young individuals are very passionate about addressing this issue, and they are ready to empower others. And that's why you see them here. At our podcast. Today's participants are Shanza, Afza, and Faiza. Hi, thank you. Yeah. Hello, and thank you for joining us today. Before we continue, I would like to introduce our special guest for today's podcast, Samia Rabab Khan. Samia will shed some light on empowerment and give some tips and advice to our participants and our viewers. I want to talk a little bit about Samia. Samia is a math teacher in junior high. In addition of teaching mathematics, she's also passionate about instilling empathy in her students. She believes that by cultivating empathy, they can develop compassion and a deeper understanding of others. Thank you, Samia, for joining us today and taking out of your uh, busy schedule, time for us and empowering and inspiring our participants and viewers and joining this podcast. Really appreciate that. All right. Now that we have introduced our participants and guests, let's get started to our question. My first question goes for Afza. In many different situations, people can feel empowered. So my question to you is, what does it mean to feel empowered? Can you think of a time when you felt empowered and what happened? And how did you feel that way? Okay. So I think being or feeling empowered could mean feeling or being stronger and confident, or having the upper hand in a conversation or situation. And there was a situation where I felt empowered. For example, last year when my art teacher went on a leave, we had a substitute teacher joining us. So she constantly used to throw stuff at the students. And one day my classmate finally decided to speak up. So she joined others and empowered me to speak up when I faced injustice. So I think that's a time where I felt empowered. And I think that's all. Great answer. Excellent. Empowerment can be derived from various sources, like personal achievement, growth, helping others, and advocating. So for your case, somebody helped you, right, with that. Thank you so much. Thanks for your answer. So my next question is for Faiza. Education and learning can empower individuals in several ways to achieve their dreams and make differences. How can education and learning empower you to achieve your dreams and make differences? The more we learn, the more we grow. And education gives us a chance to realize our dreams and achieve them. We can identify our goals and work towards them. With the knowledge we get from academic education and the teachings that we get from everyday life, we can be determined to work towards a better future. Yeah, I, I, I totally agree with you. This education and learning definitely empower individuals because they equip them with knowledge, skills, uh, self-confidence, personal growth, networking opportunities, and many more. I can think of their even critical thinking abilities. 
social awareness and all these kind of things but yeah i totally agree with you thank you so much faiza all right so here comes the next question for shanza using your voice to make a positive impact and empower those who you can be done in several ways that can be done in several ways actually um so my question for you is what are some ways do you think you can use your voice to make positive impact and empower those people around you yeah so i think i should express generosity compassion and i should try to understand people even if i don't know them and if i had to talk about social media i would tell them what danger it does and uh, explain some more things and but the mo- main thing is i have to communicate more and more and always give positive vibes to people for example if i see someone getting bullied and they don't have the courage to tell their parents or any teacher then i can go do the work for them there are many ways to help them but the most important thing is the urge to help yeah that's all thank you yeah great wonderful answer and those are the what you just mentioned is a small acts of kindness right and listening with empathy supporting those around you who are in need and those are the tools that we can use to empower others so with the completion of this question we will now move on to the final segment of this podcast and now i would like to invite our special guest samia to su- um to share her thoughts on this topic and give some advice for our participants and viewers please thank you so much thank you so much for giving me opportunity to witness this wonderful conversation of young bright minds um that was truly inspiring to hear and um i can see that when young minds come together and talk about empowerment i mean a lot of positive and supportive things happens in that mus- atmosphere and let's start with uh, afsa what afsa mentioned that being empowered means being stronger and confident i totally agree with you afsa absolutely feeling empowered means experiencing the sense of confidence and controlling your own life so it's a stage where we truly you truly believe in yourself and recognize your worth and feel capable of making right action and right choices and um i totally agree with faiza and that uh, education plays a very significant role in empowering individuals and achieve their dreams by setting a clear achieving goals uh you can actually map out the steps needed to reach your dreams and last but not the least um the um uh, shenza's uh, one line actually touched my heart that she said try to understand people and uh, speak up for them that is very important because speak uh, speak up for others and use your voice and advocate those who actually don't have that platform or opportunity to be heard so not everybody has the same platform as we we have right so um promote diversity encourage and support inclusivity at all aspect of life and that's how we can build a wonderful world thank you excellent thank you samia for your insight that's really um uh, um um uh, informative and i'm sure the, uh, any anybody any of our participants has any questions for samia no thank you for your advice no yes thank But you for the nice advice thank you same all right all right we have uh, come to the end of the podcast i would like to thank our participants here and thank our special guest for your time to join this um, podcast thank you so much for listening to today's episode before we wrap up i would like to remind our listeners that there are several resources available to help individuals dealing with bullying the government of alberta has a helpline and that is 24/7 helpline to support and advise 
those experiencing bullying. The helpline can be reached at 1-888-456-2323. Bullying is a violation of human rights. Under no circumstances is bullying acceptable. As a community, we have shared responsibility to take a stand against bullying and not to be a bystander. Thank you for joining in conversation with Manwar Khan and we will see you next week. Thank you. Thank you.